Hörte dich nicht. Dein Herz soll nicht Sitte noch sagen. Elias spricht. Komm. Ebenezer Blitz? You meet Ebenezer Blitz? What are you doing over there? This hut is on Zimmerman's land, miles of your way. Lost. It cannot be out in such weather, just for a few rabbits. It's all right, Mum. It is not all right when you get lost in the fog and meet Ebenezer Blitz. He showed me the way home. You're lucky he didn't whisk you away to his lonely humpy and murder you. He eats little boys like you for breakfast. <laughs> Ebenezer wouldn't harm the boy. How can you know that? He must be half crazy living out there. All this time on his own. Who's Ebenezer Blitz? Blitz. You want to nurse your mother's turkey chicks to death, huh? Put them back in their box. Mr. Mibus turned him off his farm because he couldn't pay his mortgage on time. He wouldn't give him another day, not even another hour. He borrowed too much money from Mibus to improve the farm. Yeah, a terrible mistake this is. That is what you never have to do, Bruno. Just one thing is going wrong. Just one bad season. Then chop. Lose everything. Then poor Mrs. Blitz is getting sick from the shock. Three weeks later, she is dead. And then... And then what? In the past it is. Where's my tea? On your bike now, Bruno. I'll have to sell a lot more skins first. Don't let him take you down. You better not try. Good morning, Mr. Mibus. Not more rabbit skins. Just a few. How many? About 80. About. Don't you know? Not much good stuff? Yes. There's a few good bucks there. Not many. Set the bombs a lot. They're worth more than that. Best I can do. Two quid. Seti bob, I said. Thirty-five? Seti. Take it or leave it. Gosh, you're a hard man, Mr. Mibus. Just these, thanks, Mr. Mibus. All right, then. Thirty. Good. That's right. Thank you. Do you know what Mibus gave me for the skins? What? Thirty measly bob. Thirty shillings? Gets less every time I go there, the old tightwad. Yeah, he asked Eddie to take a cut and pay. You didn't see him, did you, Eddie? Yeah, he looked pretty busy. So you didn't talk to him then? Not really. Oh, sorry. I don't mind. 
I just wondered if you saw him, that's all. Lottie. What is it? What did happen when Mr Blitz's wife died? Oh, he stabbed Mr Mibus with a pair of scissors. Ebenezer Blitz tried to kill Mr Mibus. Well, no-one saw him, so he got off. Hold the door for me, Bruno, for goodness sake. Mibus wouldn't give his own grandma a drink without charging it up. With interest. No wonder he owns all the land around here. He takes it off everyone else. Boy, I wish I could have seen old Ebenezer go after him with a pair of scissors. <laughs> He'll get him one day. Oh, I don't know. He seemed really religious. Like someone out of the Bible. Maybe he's forgiven him. Reckon? I don't know. Uru. See you later. A lot of skins. You're a good trapper. The earth is rich. You gonna sell them? You're gonna walk to your dunder with that load? It's almost seven miles. Why don't you take them to Mr. Mibus in Ganunda? It's much closer. Oh. Fire will destroy our enemies. Watch out, Anna. Come on, Anna. Don't touch this rope. It's not a toy, Bruno. This is a very special new machine. So with the thick rope, you can pull it up. And the thin rope is the quick release. Marcos, you are ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Can you bring him over by yourself? Yes, Dad. Yeah, Yamu to show, but we bring him straight away. 
Will you telephone the doctor? Yeah. me to help with your father. Yes, Mum. Anna, you stay here with Lottie. Mum, can I drive the buggy? No. No, today I drive. You stay here and you do what Lottie tell you. How's Dad? How's his leg? He's pretty bad. But it could have been worse, Bruno. The doctor says he'll be away about six weeks. Six weeks? Is he still angry with me? Come. I'm so glad you're back home, Mum. Mm. Is there anything you want? No, no, no. Need a rest. Thank you. Bruno, come. Come sit by me. I talk with your father, and we decide that you are old enough to help look after the farm while he is sick. We will all do more work, but you must be the man of the family. Yes, Mum. You will be missing some school. It doesn't matter, Mum. It's my last year anyway. I can do nearly everything Dad does, honestly. No, no, no. You must go sometimes to school. Yeah, Mutter Schubert is very pleased with him. He is in good hands, Anna. Yeah, Mutter Schubert is getting in there. Going to school tomorrow? Too much to do at home. How about going yabbying this over? Yabby. Right, all right. Just thought I'd ask. Where's Lottie? No. No, you sit in your father's chair till he come home. Anna, move your brother's place to the head of the table. It's your reward for breaking Dad's leg. 
Lottie, what you say to Bruno? Nothing. Komm, Herr Jesus, sei unser Gast und segen, was du uns beschert hast. Amen. You watch yourself, my girl. Just because your father is not here. Lottie, you hear me? Yes. If you think you can do what you like and meet who you like just because your father is away, you are very... Chaplin? The King? No, more important than that. Pasha Spiegel. Miss Knightley. But uh, soon he will be leaving school for good. He is already nearly 14. Mrs. Gunter, perhaps I haven't made myself clear. I don't think that Bruno should leave school at the end of the year. He should have this year again. No, no, Mrs. Gunter. I think he should go on. To high school. High school? Of course, there is a test he'd have to sit. If he misses any more school now, he won't pass it. But... But everybody leaves school at 14. I believe that he would benefit from further education more than anyone else in the class. I think he should be given the opportunity. What would his father say? We need him on the farm. Bruno, you are missing too much school. Doesn't matter, Mum. You must go every day for half a day. I can't. There's too much to be done on the farm. We will all help. Mum, I'm leaving at the end of the year. I'm going to go start the milking. Miss Knightley is bringing you some books. Bruno! Don't worry, Mum. Dad will be back soon. God willing. There is so much to do on the farm. Everyone says bad times are coming. And now Miss Knightley tells me Bruno should go to high school. Did she, Mum? That would be the most wonderful thing that could possibly happen. Well, I'd think so anyway, for me. God has a plan for each of us, Liebchen. I finish here. You go and help Lottie in the kitchen. Schöne Tiere dieses Jahr.
We found a few more cheeks hiding in the shed. This is all that were left. Not a single one big enough to sell to the market. The fox got them all. <laughs> it was my fault. I must have left the gate open. But you're always so careful to shut it, Mum. Always. Nine. Nine. Last night I was not so careful. down, Dad. Bloody hey, Tommy. You're looking for a needle in a haystack. I don't care. I'm gonna get him. Even if I have to search all year, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> 